Hi students, this is what we're going to make today, a puppet with wiggling ears. Okay, to make our portrait drawing with wiggling ears, you're going to be needing your art block. You need a card, you need a paper that is thick enough. Normal paper is not going to be strong enough, so make sure you get something thick. A normal art block or a card will be good. Pencil, scissors, you're going to be using string or if you have a something called split pin, it looks something like this. If you have it at home, it's even better. If not, just use a string. Then we're going to be using a ruler. I don't have a short ruler. A short ruler would be better. And then try and find something soft like a play-doh or a sticky tag because we're going to be poking holes through the paper and we want to use this as, a, as the bottom. So first thing what you want to do is you have a piece of art block paper and I want you to use the top part because the bottom part you're going to save it for your portrait drawing. So I want you to draw a length that is about 12 cm. Draw it around the ruler. It doesn't have to be too accurate, just around 12 cm would be good enough. And another one. Leave a gap between, yeah? I'll draw it here. Notice that I have gap on top here and here and here. That's because we're going to be drawing our ears next to it. So to draw an ear is basically just this shape. And another one backwards. Just like that. Now, let's make a mark over here and here. This is going to be where we pierce our holes later on. You want to make sure you don't put the dot too close to the edge of the paper or else it will tear easily. So leave a gap and put it in the middle here. Then we need one more strip of paper, about 20 cm. Okay. Now this measurement is for a portrait picture that is this big. So if your face is going to be smaller, this measurement is going to be shorter. So I would recommend that you use an art block so that we all do the same size. So for this strip, you want to make a dot on top. Okay, now let's cut it out. So that I have two ears. So let's poke a hole through the dot that we just made. Find something soft to put at the bottom so that you don't poke through your table. Just like that. Make sure to make it big enough. Remember, if you are poking a hole too close to the edge, your paper will tear easily. So don't do that. Make sure you're putting it in the middle with a bit of gap. These two are going to be going in like this. This one, same thing, poke a hole. Make it bigger. Be gentle with this. And we're going to join it like that. I have a string that I double knotted, meaning just two knots. Let me show you how to double knot. It's just basically tying a knot. 
at the beginning of the string. One knot, pull it tight, and then another knot. The second knot, you got to make sure it's at the same position as the first knot. So adjust it, push it with your nails, and then the knot is big now. Now I'm going to go through this hole. If your string is thick, you might want the hole to be bigger. The string is very furry, so it's a bit tricky to get it through. There. Check that you have everything correctly placed with that. Alright. Now let's tie it together. When you're tying a knot, try to make sure the knot stays as close to the paper as you can. When you're pulling, just push on the knot, guide it when you're pulling it so that it's close to the paper. Do another knot just to secure it properly. Again, same thing, push the knot to the bottom. And there, you have a pair of ears. Now, we need another two dots, two holes to make in the middle of this and this. So let's mark it down. Same thing, put a soft thing under your paper and poke a hole. Again. bigger okay this is actually going to be our eyes so with the extra piece that you had just now lay this thing on top okay how big is your face going to be you might want to move this down a little bit so that you have space for your hair so maybe around here is good now just go through the holes and jot down the position for your eyes and then to the side of the face just like that so this is going to be your pupils and this is going to be the side of your face or your hair a portrait is essentially a person's face but in drawing so for this one I want you to think about who you want to draw who you want to create you can make a portrait of yourself or maybe you want to make a portrait of your dad or your mom or your siblings then I want you to take a few minutes to think about their facial structure do they have square jaw or very pointy jaw are their eyes big or small how about their hair what color is their hair do they wear spectacles these are all the tiny details that you can include in your portrait drawing So this one is a little bit different from this one. Remember just now when we were marking down the side of the face? This is the side of my face, but instead of face, it's actually the side of my hair. If you mark down the side of the face and then you decided you want hair at the side and then you extend it outwards, you're gonna be you're gonna cover up your ears. So don't do that. Instead, like just now, you mark the side of your face and then you extend inwards have a thickness for your hair and then that's the face in the middle you have to take note of that so let's draw our eyes I have big round eyes and my nose 
I have a very big nose. Oh, let's not forget our eyebrow. I'm going to put some happy eyebrow. And a big white smile. It's up to you how you want to draw your face. I'm going to draw a tongue. I'm going to colour it with crayon. You can paint it if you want. Now remember, if you're colouring with crayon, you want to do some colour blending, dark, medium, light. If you don't have crayon, you can always use markers. So for my skin, I'm just... Oops, I broke it. I'm just using the pink to outline it first. And then a lighter colour. You, are, you will notice that I'm using a circular motion to blend the colours together. It'll be funny to see who you're drawing. So you can just show it to me through your webcam later on. I would love to see what you, who you are drawing. Maybe you're drawing your dad or your mom. <laughs> that will be very cheeky. I think they will like it. That will give them a very good laugh. Whew, I think I'm getting a little bit tired from the colouring. But I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep going. I'll make sure to try to cover up all the white spots. There. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyes. I think I'm gonna paint my hair because I'm really tired of coloring using the crayon. I'll just paint my hair later on. Black eyes. I want to use black glass because if I use it now, it's going to dirty whatever colouring that I just did. I'll just do my finish my mouth first. Now I can do my black colour because I'm done with the whole face. You're going to make sure you remember where your holes are. So just, if you cover it up already, just use a pencil and poke the hole again. Okay. Now I'm going to paint my hair. Before painting, you gotta make sure your table is clean because you need to take a lot of stuff like colors, your paint. Okay, let me see what colors of hair you want. Maybe, maybe dark brown. You notice that when I'm painting, I'm painting in the one direction only. This is so that when it dries, the paint strokes are tidy because if you go like this like this when it dries you can actually see all the messy strokes that you have done so try to keep your paint strokes in one direction now i'm just gonna let this dry before I show you how to attach our strips together. Okay, now my face has dried up. You also notice that I've colored my ears the same color the same color as my skin. I you need to make sure that when you color the ears, you extend the colors inwards a little bit so that when you put your face on top and when you wiggle it, it doesn't show the white paper. So now we have to attach the eyes through to the two holes. 
So like just now, how like how you did this one, you're going to be double knotting your string first. Let me show you how to double knot. It's just basically tying a knot at the beginning of the string. One knot, pull it tight, and then another knot. The second knot, you got to make sure it's at the same position as the first knot. So adjust it, push it with your nails, and then the knot is big now. So now you want to put this through the eye hole. I'm going to make my eye hole a little bit bigger. Because after all the colouring, I covered up the hole already. Okay. So, this hole is going to go through here. So make sure you go to this correct ear. This one needs to be bigger too. And tie two more knots. And like again, same thing. Try and push the knot down. As close as the paper. The second knot. Done. Let's do this side. Same thing, double knot your string first. Now if it happens like this, loosen the knot and push it to this side. There. Now go through here. This time to this ear. Same thing, tie two knots to secure it. And there you have it. This might look a little off for you, you can cut it off if you want. Or you can color it black, it's up to you. Isn't it funny? <laughs> I hope you had fun creating your wiggly ear portrait. Now remember to take a picture when you're done and share it with me. Bye!